Hi, I'm Sam van der Weyden. Um, I studied uh, philosophy and physics in my first couple of years to uni, but first, uh, but quickly changed to mathematics. Um, I was drawn to math because of its, there's so many little moments where you go, aha, you know, things start to click together. It starts to bring in just different aspects of, um, of study. And uh, now I'm in my fourth year, I'm doing honors, um, and I'm planning to move into um, either postgraduate study or uh, public transport analysis and planning later on in life. Um, I think it's really cool that already I'm starting to see things in fourth year that can be applied to those uh, aspects of society and of industry. Um, mathematics is really unique because it's something that describes the nature of the universe, but it can also describe uh, a lot of other things, including things in everyday life, like um, just taking the bus. Uh, so I, yeah, I think it's a really cool degree to get into. My name is Jörg Hennig and I'm senior lecturer in applied mathematics at the Department of Mathematics and Statistics in Otago. Today I want to tell you a little bit about studying mathematics. You enjoy the feeling when you have solved a challenging problem, you have an appreciation of the beauty of mathematics, you like mathematical equations and abstract thinking, then probably a math degree is the right thing for you. Why should you study mathematics? Math is the language of the universe. Everything, from the spread of the smallest viruses to the expansion of the entire universe, can be described in terms of mathematical equations. Studying math also gives you transferable skills that are recognized by many employers, like critical thinking, quantitative reasoning, and communication skills. And with a math degree, you are very flexible. If you do some other degrees, say microbiology, then you become a microbiologist. If you study nursing, then you become a nurse. But mathematics opens many quite different career doors for you. For example, about one quarter of our graduates works in education, roughly another quarter in finance, banking and insurance, and all the others in quite diverse areas like government administration, academia, research, software development and ITS. So you see, there are indeed many options with mathematics. Why should you study at Otago? The University of Otago is in the top 1% of universities around the world, according to the QS World University Ranking. Otago's Department of Mathematics and Statistics also has one of the largest groups of motivated young lecturers in New Zealand. And with the integration between mathematics and statistics, we also have excellent combined programs. Moreover, our lecturers are not only teachers, they are carrying out cutting-edge research as well, which guarantees research-informed teaching and is an entry point for student research. And Otago is of course well known for its campus life and its supportive culture and diverse student population. What is the structure of a math degree? You can complete a mathematics major in three years as part of a Bachelor of Science or a Bachelor of Arts. For the math major, you need to take 11 or more papers from mathematics, statistics and computational modeling plus additional papers for the bachelor requirement. Some of these papers are required and others can be chosen to suit your particular interests. So you can tailor your university experience to what you actually want to do when you graduate. If you want to know more about the structure, all details are available on the department and university webpages and in the guide to enrollment. 